Hello and welcome to another What's Inside. This time we're looking at Burger Pile Up, a number stacking game. Ages 6 and up, 2 to 4 players. It says it's distributed by Old East Main Company, but it's out of Goodlettsville, Tennessee. I bought this at a Dollar General, and I think that's who produced it. But I'm going to list Old East Main Company just because that's the only name on here I could find. Unless I see something on the instructions when we open it. Now this is a number game, and you can see by the cool little pictures here, this is aimed at younger players. Now the first player to get 10 numbered burger toppings from lowest to highest wins. So let's see what we've got here, and if it's worth the 5 bucks I paid for it. Alright, everything's just kind of in a mess here. Alright, so we've got some instructions on, on the inside of the box. So be aware of that. Looks pretty simple. First person to uh, build a burger consisting of 10 cards numbered lowest to highest wins the game. To lower the difficulty level, just play to five. Nothing hiding under there. So I like the french fry motif, that's a nice touch. So let's take a look at our components. Alright, first up we have these table settings. We got four of them. So it's two to four players, obviously, like I said before. So we've got green here. Then we have purple. then blue, and finally red. Now these are about the size of a regular coaster, and they are pretty thick cardstock, but uh, they do get scratched up and dented fairly easily. And the back looks pretty good actually, even though it says a number stacking game, I don't think that's necessary. But it does say Dollar Gen down there, so that means it was produced by Dollar General. Probably in association with some company out of China. So you can kind of see where this has some dents in it from packaging. So the cardstock is thick, but it's not super high quality. So get those out of the way. And we'll start with these like cheese slices. cheese slice, some french fries Now notice how these have different numbers on them, despite the other side being the same, so be aware of that.
finally of the square ones. So we've got three of these different numbers. And then we've got two fries, 33 and 18. Then we've got three bacon, which are 131 and 16. And three lettuce, which are 2, 17, and 32. And two of the Swiss cheese, which are 4 and 20. So 13 of these total. Alright, let's look at our round ones. There's a lot of these. There's big stacks. Big stacks. So we've got these ground beef ones. Let's see here. This one is number 25. We've got another one, which is number 39. We've got a third one, which is number 6. Next up we have two with mayonnaise, which is number 5 and number 22. Then we have some with ketchup, we've got three of these. Which are number 21, number 6, and number 35. Then we have 3 with mustard on them. And that's number 7, number 23, and 41. Then we have three with mushrooms on them. And these are number 10, number 13, and number 26. Next up we have three with pickles on them. number 42, number 24, and number 8. Now we get into our toppings. We've got three tomatoes. Those are number 15, number 30, and number 43. And we have three onions, very hypnotic. And these are number 11, number 27, and number 38. We also have three eggs. These are number 12, 28, and 44. There are also three 
pineapples. And these are number 14. Number 29. And number 36. Then we have, lastly, six buns. Standard look and sesame buns. And here we have number 37, 46, 40, 45, 47, and finally, over 48. Now the thickness on these is surprisingly good, but again, the coating's a little cheap, and I don't think they're going to hold up real well with heavy abuse. Uh, they will be intact, you will be able to play with them, but they'll be really dinged up. So if you're a perfectionist, you may want to be a little cautious about this. But if you're looking for something for the kids, really good quality for that. Because it's a game you're going to play a couple times and probably be forgotten, but these are real solid. So you're not going to care too much about little things and dents, or the cheap gloss on them. For five bucks, you're actually getting a pretty decent value here. All right, that is what is inside the Burger Pile-Up game. It's actually a really good game for teaching kids numbers, that sort of thing, helping them learn ascending and descending order. So that would be pretty cool. Angels 6 and up is about right. You get 48 cards, 4 game boards, 2 to 4 players. For the 5 bucks I paid, I don't think I feel cheated at all. It's really good quality as far as durability, but as and lasting through young hands milling them about and tossing them around but they are really just glorified coasters so if you're looking for a game that's going to be complete and in mint condition this is gonna be a hard one to come by because as you can see even some of the pieces that I took out looked a little banged up but if you're just looking for a game for the kids this is really really good so I don't know the longevity of that. They're not going to want to play it all the time, but I think you'll get your $5 worth of entertainment out of it with little ones. So uh, if you got kids, this is good for them, but adults aren't going to have very much fun with it. It'll be pretty boring. So that's going to do it for this one. You've heard my take, seen what's in the box. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future unboxings and reviews. If you'd like to help the channel out, you can buy yourself something nice from the Teespring store, or you can support me on Patreon, or do a one-time donation via Streamlabs, or just share the video on your social media. That helps quite a bit. Those, the links for everything are down in the description, and thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you on the next one.